Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I'm going to be transforming my desk from this to this. And you'll see how I did that right after this. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up this Vivio Stand V001. It's a single monitor DeX mount that I needed for my monitor that's over here. And this is specifically for space and for school because there is an issue with space on my desk as well as I want the monitor closer to the Mac so that it's like a, um, like a seamless workspace, but of course this is gonna help out really, really well. So basically what's around this box is just a cardboard box, just has all these info stuff around it. Just regular stuff here. Nothing too, nothing too much. Same thing on the top as in bottom. Nothing too, extraordinary of this box. It is metal, so it is a pretty decent amount of weight. This side right here is the heaviest, this is light. So um, I'm assuming the heavier stuff is over here. This is, as I said, all metal. So of course this is gonna work for my needs and um, it's recommended size display as in the inches across is 13 to 27. My monitor is a 21 inch. The maximum is 22 pounds. That is less than 22 pounds. Um, it can do 90 degree tilts. So it can go like this, 360 this way, or rotation, I'm sorry. So it can go like this, like a steering wheel. Now you have to look up your specific monitor because if it doesn't put support 75 to 75 millimeters or 100 to 100 millimeters, this will not work. It's because it's like mounting a TV on a wall or on a entertainment stand that makes the TV float and then you have the in, um, different shelves. But basically what this is, is that you have to look up your monitor specs to see what is supported. Mine is supported 100 by 100, so I got this. Basically I got this because of the good reviews it had on Amazon and of course the links will be in the description box below to this. So let's unbox this. Now, of course, this knife has been in a lot of unboxing videos and you can tell it's very old and it's super, super dull. So like, it's very hard to cut things with this knife. And just a tip of the wise, always cut away from you. You don't wanna do this because if you get stuck, you can like slice yourself. So don't do that. <laughs> All right. Gotta love stiff cardboard. Alrighty, Oof. That's what's in this box. So basically this is just, I guess, what's in here. There's some stuff moving in there. Alrighty. Alrighty. Cool, we have instructions. So they have desk razor stands. I know for a fact that one of my classes have this specific type. It looks similar. Thank you for your purchase from Vivo. Cool. And this is the instruction guide. Let me spin this. What I always do is that I count how much stuff is in that. So basically, if you guys follow my vlogging channel, the links will be in the description box below. But um, March of last year, I got a desk, which is this one that I'm currently on. And um, I went through all, I went through the paper of um, package contents and I just counted every single bolt, every single thing that's there to see if it is there and it was. And honestly, it's just a little thing that I've developed because sometimes if you do get something, sometimes it's not fully there. So then you might have to contact Amazon or contact whoever you got the product from and they might have to send you an entire entire set of this or 
they will have to just send out a single piece. So that's what this is. So I'm going to go through that when I'm done reviewing this thing here. And it shows you the steps. Um, basically, I'm not going to be using the um, this one because I don't have a hole in my desk. It's going to be the clamp that clamps onto this, like my boom over here. I'm going to be using the mount here. So it basically shows how you set this up. And the lucky part is that I'm going to show you <laughs> how to set this up. And of course, I'm going to be doing this following the guide by guide. The paper will be in front of me and I'll be showing you how to do it to make this video pretty cool. So let's check out this package contents, however you want it, table of contents, no. But it's the package of contents and I'm gonna count however. So you see these times one, times three, times two, one, two, four. So basically just count every single thing you have here that you make sure you have everything here. So let's get started. that's good it's just a it's just a good extra step to it's like an extra cautionary step to check all this stuff out oh wow i wish my boom mic that's over here was like that wow that is heavy duty this is this is a good heavy piece here that's this thing the clamp all righty Geez, this is a good type of build right here. Wow. This is full out strong metal. That's the clamp brace, but my goodness. I will have to rate this on Amazon. This is full on metal. I don't even know if my desk can handle that. But we'll see. And this is the mount that goes on the back of the monitor. That's cool. That's here. So I'm assuming this is a pole. Oh my lord. Pole. This is a good construction. Like, I'm very surprised. Full on metal. Heavy duty metal. And last but not least, we have the entire swivel arm or however you want to call it. Alright, is that it? Yes, it is. So we have everything that goes to this thing. All right, so basically this is what everything comes into the package you get. You get the swivel arm, the clamp mount, papers, the pole, spacers, mounts, all this other stuff. And it's nice, it's packaged very nicely. It's very well made for what I can see. And I will definitely have to be doing some reconfiguring over here and I will show you that in just a few seconds. So. Enough of me talking, let's jump right into this. Alrighty guys, so this is my college student uh, non-cleaning, messy desk. Me recording my voice on Pro Tools. This is a dual monitor setup I have. It's on the PreSonus AudioBox i2. There is the wireless mic set, my Behringer. I just unboxed this yesterday of this recording. I unboxed this yesterday, I didn't review it at all but I got it working with Pro Tools. I had some issues and of course I'll be doing a review on this. The link will be in the description box below so you guys can check out this review of this awesome, amazing type of keyboard here. It's, I love it. Um, I'm gonna be just tearing stuff down. I'm not gonna be stopping this because you have to hear my voice. Um, I'm gonna be placing it over here and I'll be showing you step by step how to do this. So I'm very excited to do this. So. Enough of me talking, let's just clean up a little bit here and um, explain to you what I'm doing here. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm plugging everything from this monitor. monitor. So I have the power cable right here. I have a headphone jack here. This is a VGA plug that um, I can't get my hands on because it's such a tight space. This is HDMI that goes to the Xbox and P uh, um, PS3. 
Wow, I forgot the word for a second. Let me get a screwdriver. I know I didn't tighten these tight. There we go. It's just a little awkward angle you're at here. Don't have a good angle on it. Now I could probably get this one off. The key with these twist, these screw things that you do not tie them tight whatsoever. These are just security type of things. So just do that. See my screen flash. This is the cable that comes from the iMac to this. So basically now this is just a iMac itself. So basically do not ever place your monitor on a surface, like a hard surface, a rough surface. You want to place it on like a towel, but I have a blanket that's very soft and um, just place it on something safe and that's something that fits well and as you can see here this is the 100 by 100 millimeter type of mount here now i haven't done any research on how to take this off so it looks like this thing can pull out you might have to un oh never mind so this unscrews okay do I have to undo this? No, I don't. Now, what's up with this thing? It doesn't, oh, there's screws here. So basically, I'm just analyzing stuff. I do not want to take out something that is going to screw up this mechanism because this thing makes it tilt, as you can see. And it, by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's going to do much of anything. So let's see. If I feel it's going to do something, then... We'll just deal with it later. Plus, I don't think I'm ever gonna use this stand again because it's just not great. Awesome, okay. That thing comes off, but this thing stays. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on because, let me move this down. I wanna place this back on because metal showing black, not great. I might do some more research on this brand of it's an LG Flattron E2241 V B, and I can't really see, but um, that's what this brand is. I might have to do some more research on that. So let's get the manual out here. And I'm just, since we're here at this point, let me skip to that specific section. Attach the VESA plate E to the monitor with M4 times 12 volts, um, thumb bolts Q and tighten screws to avoid over tightening. All right, here's the mount. It's gonna be the proof that this works and I know it will because I did some of my own research. I did a lot of research before I put this on in my Amazon cart and it fits like a glove. So let's find the Q bolts or M412. So that's been this package. So, they're very small, they look like these, yep, they're thumb nuts, and they are screwdriver, or Phillips, let me get my knife, do they screw in, why, yes they do, alrighty, let's tighten these like that, now, there's a key to this. So like if you are going to screw something in that's screwable to mount the metal basically, everything that's screw in, always do that, do it a few times, and then you can grab your Phillips and screw it in. You'll cause stripping if you just go on to it because you have to feel it. And then if it goes in smooth, you are golden. So I hope these are correct. They look like the ones that are going in here. So let's and tighten these. If you ever worked on a car, there's something called a star or crisscross pattern. So if you do this one, do that one. And it's like a crisscross, like a X, or if you're doing a car, it's gonna act like a star. So basically you have to do it from crisscross. You just don't do it like that because basically it's not even. If I do a side shot with a spacer in this, you'll see that it will each teeter totter on each side that you'll see it going even. But if I do this, you'll see like, if I do this side, this side will be up and then it'll go down, it's not even. So always do crisscross. It's like a, for me, I never, ever, ever, ever do it like this. 
because it's just something that was drilled into my head. So I just basically do it without me really thinking about it. But word to the wise, just do the crisscross. Now I'm just tightening these just a little. So when it skips, that's hand tightening for me. When it skips the blade, that's hand tightened for me. So now just you can do this because now you're just not here. It's already tightening, but now you can just do this and it's all good. Now this is on. So I'm going to be doing the desk clamp install here. I'm not going to be doing the base with the hole because as you can see, no hole. It's a lot of clutter in this, but there's no hole. So um, we're going to be doing this first. So what we need is the first one to install the clamp brace C to the pole A using three five M5 X14 bolts F. See figure one. This reminds me of math. We use these to attach to the pole. Where's that pole? Now, if you ever guys had this type of thing, I cannot express it enough how like really good product this is. It's so sturdy, it's not even funny. It's metal, and I wonder how much this is gonna weigh completely full on together. So that's what these grow into, these screws to the bracket, which is right here. I don't trust it. <laughs> I know it will stand sturdy, but big huge clank on this or some plastic, even a condenser, no good news. Alrighty, so, oh, ooh, T1. I didn't see T1, so maybe this is T1. This is the clamp. Okay, T1, let's look at the list here. T1 soft pad. So that's what I had in my hand just a few seconds ago, that thing. But it just goes like this. And you have to line up the screws with this so we can do that here. And the screws are F, which are like these um, hex screws. All right, so these three go into these things like that. So basically, and then that one goes above it. So basically this is gonna go onto the table, it looks like. So we can do it from here. That's a cool design. It goes flush like these little type of inserts go flush with it. So it goes like that, but we need to align this first and I wish I had like a vise. This one stay balanced. So it goes like that. So I almost got one in, but I need to align it. See? So basically I got one in and I need that hex bit. So let's take that out. You know what's great about having these hex tools and wrenches and all that? Is that basically you can add it to your collection of hex. And I have like about three or four of these in my tool chest right now. <laughs> so this takes the very small one. So let's line the holes up again. Then grab this, screw it in. Now that's aligned. Now hand tightening it. And now we have to align it with the holes. Now I can see the holes. Before I couldn't because of the shadows. Screw this one in. Now this stopped and it's, see how it stops and it's not even fully in. So you have to shimmy this. Screw it out a little bit and shimmy it. And it will shimmy back into place because it's actually in the hole, but it's not aligned and it's flush. And the last one should just fall into place really. Next up is using this, but we have to use the plate using the G screws, which I'm guessing it's these type of screws to screw it on the clamp and yeah. So basically right here, there's a rubber piece on this and it prevents it from sliding. And of course, after a few years of using this, this metal piece has worn out and it 
moves around sometimes, but basically I literally got like a pliers and I just turned the thing on the desk bottom here. On the bottom here, I just turned, turned, and it has not moved. <laughs> so hopefully this isn't the case with this thing because this is a foam, literally like a play type of foam thing, and I hopefully it will stick and stay forever. So this thing goes on the bottom of this and it's stick, sticky. So you can pop this out. Good circle to have. Let's drop these screws. So basically, sticky side, it goes like that. And that's cool. So let's stick this on. That's the best it's gonna get. At least it holds something. All right, that's complete. Now it's the mount. This thing already has a good weight to it too. It's nice to know that my monitor is not gonna break and bend from crappy metal. Basically, if you look at the surface of this and then maybe you look at a C-clamp, it's just a tiny circle like this one. This one has a tiny circle, like about that big. This one has a good surface area to grip and that's good for this because sometimes, basically because a monitor can weigh to 22 pounds, the max of this. This does not weigh to <laughs> 22 um, pounds. It's probably less than 22 pounds, I'm not sure. So by the instructions, this thing is facing that way. It looks like it might slide in like that. Maybe? Look at the instructions. I might be right. So basically it goes like that. So we use these two screws with the big hex bit to screw those in. And it goes to the first one on the top and second to last one on the bottom. So I spent the last two minutes on this and I feel like I might have just done the bracket wrong. So it looks like it goes like this from what I'm understanding. So if I look at this super closely, I see the bracket of this clamp and then this clamp, the actual clamp is behind this bracket. So that's what that looks like. So I was doing it wrong. I'm like, why are these screws not aligning? and they align. <laughs> That's what I was doing wrong. So let me screw this in. Alrighty then, clamp is installed. But basically it's gonna be somewhere right here or even over here. I have to rearrange this area. But basically it's gonna be here. This, on this like, pizza shape type of corner that there is nothing here at all. The metal bar is right here and it's screwed in with the metal bar here. So there's nothing in the center here. So this will go good. Okay, so basically I have to clean this area up. Basically I have to pull this out because I don't know if it's gonna affect anything here because this is plugged in. And the hub for these two things here and for my alias here or however you wanna call it is back here on the mount for the computer. So it's zip tied and everything is just need to, I just need to clean this mess up. So basically everything's cleaned up here. Um, it's weird seeing it like this. <laughs> basically this is gonna take me a little bit because I will have to rearrange everything. I'm not gonna record that because that's gonna take some time, probably like me sitting around for like maybe five to 10 minutes visioning guys, this thing with all these other things here. I might have to shift things over or move things on this side. However it fits, I'm gonna make it happen. So basically I'm gonna clean up, dust this area because I haven't dusted this in a while. There's lead from my pencil, mechanical pencil here. So basically I will have to clean that up and not get it on the floor. Um, that's it, so we'll be ready to go. So let's do this. Looks like when I did that, let's do this. It looks like I'm gonna bash somebody on the head with this thing. Feel it's, you know, it's a good, zombie tool, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so a bunch of things happened. 
Um, not really a bunch of things, but so basically I've been doing some research and um, for this, but basically what I want to do with this one is that I'm just going to screw it on the bottom just a little bit and so that it is secure that it won't like rock back and forth because right now I can move this all back and forth but I want to set up everything mount this and um, basically just move everything around this entire setup here move it around and adjust it to my liking I had to take this out because this base is so big and it didn't fit through here so I had to move this out of the way and it and I can like now place it in. I'm going to put everything onto this, put the monitor on it, and then adjust everything to my liking and then mount it stationary in a way. It's not gonna be stationary because I can move it however, but basically if that is like that and it stays like that, I'm not moving it at all. So that's what that's gonna do. Let's move on to this thing. So this thing, um, I did some research for this thing. I found a manual to this. I found that I found that disabling the stand, which is this thing right here, and I was like, okay, so where in the world is to get this off? So I'm like, it doesn't even look like you can get it off. And <laughs> weirdly, I found the manual to this, as I said, and the part that you can slide this out. So I have not tried it yet at all, and um, I'm going to try it right now see if you can slide it out and I hope this plastic piece doesn't break but basically I feel like this will give me much more better grip than this tiny um, silver thing that's in here so let me give this a tug all right please don't break okay that wasn't as bad okay so this slides out so that's what this it looks like a belt buckle in a way but this slides out I'm glad so this piece this piece not going to use again all right, so this is what the final product is, is of this. There's no cap that goes on this, I don't think. Um, it literally it looks like a seatbelt in there. You know how the seatbelt goes in and you hear that click? That's what that does, but that's like safer. <laughs> it feels lighter in a way. So basically, we got that out. That's good. What we're going to do with this is that I would like to um, not mount it, but just turn the thing for it not to move freely and slide out so i'm going to do that and then we're going to continue with this arm i don't need these things at all because these two things are for the table with the self hole with the self man-made hole or the existing hole because there's a grommet base for existing hole and then a grommet base for self-drilled hole so that's why I don't need these, but um, basically this is the main next part here. So let's pull up the instructions to see if we can do this. So what it looks like is that it says tighten the bolt with the supplied Allen wrench O to fix fix the tilt angle and make it a necessary adjustment. Make any necessary adjustments. So, so this looks like, yeah, that's rough. Why is it so rough? It might be easier with weight on it but so basically this slides up like this it looks like a gopro attachment in a way so this slides in and then you use the allen wrench okay tying the supply tying the bolt with the supplied allen wrench to fix the tilt and angle now that makes sense that's why this is so rough i'm going to screw this in and with the bolts that we used this is what this is for to mount this into so this is like a GoPro mount in a way, so it looks like it slides in like this. And then you use the screw here, screw it in, thread it in. This is all the way in, yep. And it looks like, I don't even think you can, too big. Okay, don't even know why that's there, it's probably for the other kits. But um, I would like to, Get this down tight so it won't like it's not gonna budge but still I want it to not move so let me tighten this down I got my adjustable wrench here I don't know if it'll work but hopefully it will okay so basically this is a fixed mount that makes sense because it says fix so basically 
it looks like is that you can adjust all these screws and then adjust it to where you want it. So what I'm thinking of doing is that maybe screwing this mount in with this monitor and then using the screw or using the hex bit, loosen them and then you can just adjust however you want. Yeah, okay. So these just pop on like that. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. So basically these go on to this thing. I'm not gonna place it on right now because I'm gonna be manhandling it and I don't want these to break. These are plastic. So just be careful with plastic. Plastic is so easy to break. Okay, so this goes, this piece goes on here. These two pieces go somewhere here. Okay, so I can worry about these later. So what I'm gonna do right now is that I actually didn't dust, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna dust because I was fiddling around with this and doing some research on this. So I'm gonna dust this area. I'll be right back with you. And um, I'm gonna be mounting this on it. So let me get back to you. Okay, so I just dusted. It looks really good actually because it was like a grayish white look because of all that dust. So right now I am going to um, brace this. Not really brace it because you can easily slide it off, but I'm just gonna screw it on the bottom here. Let me show you. This thing right here is there. Um, I seriously don't know if you can see. Um, basically that's what that is. And you can tie it and screw it in there. So let me do that. Okay, so this thing is mounted, not fully secure. You can still move it around, but you can't, it's, it's gonna be tough for it to slide out. So that's what I wanted. So then once this is mounted and adjusted, I can then unscrew it a little bit and move it around however one I want to. So basically it's not this, it's the bigger one for these. So let me check, these are probably this one. Yes, okay, so these, this is for these here and this one, this big huge one is for this one here. So let me undo this one just a tiny bit. Should hopefully give enough room. So let me pick this up. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, so I can tell this, yeah, look how easily this thing tilts now. This fit, yay, it can. Leverage here sucks, okay. Okay, so basically this thing is hanging loose here. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten this one a little bit. Okay, just a half a turn was really good. Wow, that is so smooth and so weird. Okay, so let's move, we can't move it. <laughs> Okay, so grab this and loosen all these, maybe half a turn. Okay, I have to hold, you have to, I just had trouble with this, so you have to hold this for it not to tilt. So this can move, yep. So is that moving along with it? Yeah, do this, hold the bottom end and just, don't wanna kill my knuckles here. There we go, just like a, 90 degree turn that should be good enough oh yeah this is nice so found my first problem so my goal with this is that i want it to be flush with the screen to screen here not like the screen and screen here that's too big this thing won't fit so i just want to fit it from screen to screen this matches that this is a 21 inch this is a 21.5 so it's it's the same height but not the same width. Unscrew this now just a tiny bit for it to move around. So this basically doesn't have to be moved as much as I thought it was. So this was a good placement. So let me unscrew this and I will uh, move it around to my liking. Okay, getting there, very close. So let me move this over just a tiny bit. So this is where my liking would be. So it's gonna be right around here, tilt it like that. So if I sit here, see how this screen here is below this? So it has to be risen up by this area. Just a tiny bit. That's perfect. This thing can still tilt. So basically when I get everything adjusted, everything even, I'm then gonna mount everything, screw the basin, um, screw these tight, and I'm gonna make this screen flush with this. As you can see here, this thing's cockeyed. But um, it should be good. This thing's weighing it down, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. 
Okay, so basically as I was tightening this up, this base was cockeyed and when I was tightening it, it basically fixed itself. So what I have to do now is that, so I have to undo it now and move it over. Basically it's a trial, a trial and error type of deal. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, this might take a while. That's the gap it was at before or when we tightened it. And when before I tightened it, it was no gap. So basically I'm gonna come back and this is gonna be all set. So let me do that. Alrighty guys, so after a few more adjustments, this is the final product of this thing. Check it out. It looks so, so cool. The problem was is that probably the stand, this and the stand, it was probably like right around here. And now look how much room I have with this thing. That's crazy. So basically I can place a lot more stuff here um, on top of this. Um, that is crazy how much space I have now. So basically that's the end of this setup in a way. Um, I'm gonna touch up everything, put everything back together, clean, dust up, and show you the very final product of this entire setup and why I got this for my desk. So um, I'll get back to you guys in a few moments. Alrighty guys, so I'm very excited to say that this is the complete setup of my setup, my recording, editing, school stuff set up <laughs> now the problem is is that if you see that lamp over there I have no idea what to do with that um, I might take it out because I have LED strips here as you can see I hope you can but I have LED strips that can light up they're not plugged in right now because I'm still working some stuff out so overall I'm very very happy with this setup it's really it's just a really good type of setup right now and um, of course there is going to be some movement around here um, I'm definitely going to try to change things up but um, basically this has made it more spacious in a way to me it might not look on it on video but it definitely made a difference to my eyes basically the stand was making this area on top of this not accessible this was bumping into this so I wasn't able to move this farther inward because every single time I tried to turn this thing on I had to go under here instead of to the side which is easier because I always hit the Xbox button there and it turns it on so basically what this allowed me to do is that it basically shifted everything over a few inches here and I absolutely love the look of it because of how much room there is and there's no inconvenience of me um, pressing the Xbox button here or me have to go under because under is just it's just weird for me as a habit I always went over to the side as well as I place the clips as I said here I'm not using them because as you can see down here the it's not really mounted specifically that way I didn't want it to go like this it's just an extra route while it's directly sorted under here. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that or punch that button, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. And I also have a vlogging and gaming channels. The links will be in the description box below and you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. So go ahead and check it out if you want. Um, and subscribe again guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video Honestly, this this and one more thing I got is such a good investment for workflow and improving Just my workflow of things and the very last thing I'm reviewing will be the next video I hope you guys stay tuned for that one because that one is going to be very in-depth and I really really needed this <laughs> because of just how everything was. But you'll see, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and this is the Tech Manny sign See you later.